guys, it's Heather from Divine Guidance Tarot, back at you with another pick a deck. This time it's messages from spirit. What do you need to know about your current love situation? Okay, as always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. If it doesn't resonate, please don't listen. Please find a YouTube reader who can help you. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me at Divine G-U-U-D-A-N-C-E Tarot by Heather at gmail.com and we will get you set up. Um, uh, let's see, what else, what else, what else? Um, nothing. Okay, this is going to be kind of quick because I have to go to work. So here we go. One, two, three, four, batch pile. All right, pile one messages from spirit. What you need to know about your current love situation. Okay, so I have the tarot card. All right, and then I have my messages. So have patience. Spirit's telling you to have patience. They're telling you that you are perfect. Okay? They're saying your your um your family, deceased family members messages from heaven are saying, let us hug you. Close your eyes as we hold you close. Okay? Spirit's also saying the key to prayer is to forget what I think I need, okay? And walk away from dishonest associations, realizing that what you thought you wanted isn't the best choice for your happiness, something that's not worth the effort, okay? The key to prayer is to forget what I need. Let us hug you, close your eyes as we hold you close. You are perfect, have patience. Okay, and the tarot cards you got <clears throat> were the Moon of Cauldrons and the Hermit and uh, the Three of Swords. Okay, so right away I can tell that this is a third-party situation that you're involved in. Okay, third-party situation. You're feeling lost. You're feeling alone. You're feeling less than. You're feeling worthless. You're feeling like, you know, you're in Three of Swords mode. Sorrow, painful breakup relationship, you know, relationship grief, okay? Okay. This is a third party situation, okay? And spirit is telling you that you are perfect, okay? And they want your 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 family and spirit guides are all around you telling you to pray. Pray for what you need not what you want, okay? To walk away from a third party situation if it's a dishonest association because someone new and better will be coming your way, okay? To have patience because you are perfect and your perfect partner is out there somewhere waiting for you, okay? All right, deck two. Spirit saying, I believe in you. Spirit says, I believe in you. Okay? You are loved. Spirit says you are loved. Your ancestors or your spirit guides are telling you to stand up for what you know is right. We are supporting you. And I love that there's a tree there. You know I love trees. I'm such a tree hugger. Such a tree hugger. Okay? Stand up for what you know is right. We are supporting you. Okay? The moment I realign with love, clear direction is presented to me. Okay? Realign with love. Okay? Children or childhood, the return of people or romances from your past, remembering events differently in a better or worse light than how they really occurred. Okay, Six of Cups, someone from your past returning. And the tarot cards you got were Judgment and the Hanged One with the Moon. Okay, so right away I can tell that the situation that you're in, okay, you're, man, you're just, you're, you're stuck. You're stuck in fear. You're stuck in illusion, right? You're stuck in insecurity and deception, okay? I'm getting that you might be going through a divorce or a breakup or something that involves kids, and you're really, really, really hurting right now. 
you're really hurting, you're feeling like all the fun is being sucked out of your life, all the joy, you're scared, you're scared, you don't know what to do, you don't feel worthy, you don't feel like anybody believes in you, but Spirit is telling you that Spirit believes in you, that you are loved, and that someone from your past is coming back, okay? And when you realign with love, clear direction is presented to you. And for you to stand up for what you know is right, because the universe is supporting you, okay? If you know that this relationship is right for you, if you know that, that you want to fight for your your relationship, then do it. If you feel like this relationship is no good for you, then get out. Spirit is saying they will back you either way because you are loved. They will back you either way. Do what you think is right for you. Not what's right for your, your kids, not what's right for your husband, not what you think is right for anybody else but you. Okay, because when you take care of you, your kids will be okay. You know, your ex will be okay. Your new love will be okay. People will be okay. But you have to be okay first before you can help anybody else be okay. Self-love, okay? Deck three. Keep going. Spirit wants you to keep going and forget your fears. Focus your mind on what you really want. We are helping. Your spirit guides and ancestors are helping you. Focus on what you want. Okay? Focus on what you really, really want. Forget about your fears about the situation and keep going. Keep going. Okay? When I lean towards love, I am led. Spirit is telling you you are being led to love. Okay? You are being led to a new relationship or emotional experience. Invitations to social events, a compassionate friend you can share your, your concerns with, okay? A new relationship. You're being led towards new love, so don't fight it, okay? Look, you got the three of cups and the two of cups with the hanged man in reverse, okay? This new love is coming, and it's going to be amazing. It's going to be, you know... The Two of Cups, it's going to be the start, the spark. And you've got the hangman in reverse. You're not going to be stuck anymore. Okay? You're not going to be stuck anymore. You're going to have this love. You're going to have this passion. You're going to have this fun, romantic relationship. Everything that you're looking for, I get that you're single right now and you're looking for a soulmate. Your soulmate is coming. Okay? But Spirit wants you to know that you need to keep going on your path. Forget about your fears. Okay? I'm hearing you are loved. You are loved. You are loved. Forget your fears. Focus your mind on what you really want, on what you want, not what you are fearing. When you focus on your fears, all you're bringing to you are your fears, okay? When you lean towards love, you are led. You're being led to your soulmate right now, okay? But you can't keep yourself stuck. You have to be really manifesting this soulmate into your life. You have to manifest this new love into your life so that the spirit knows what kind of love to bring you. If you're focusing on your fears or on horrible ex-partners, all they're going to keep bringing you is the same ex-partner in different bodies to, until you learn your lesson, okay? Focus on your new soulmate relationship on what you want to bring into your life, and spirit will help you to do that, okay? Ooh, all right, deck four. Trust. Spirit wants you to trust and shine your light. Okay. Don't rush into making big decisions right now. Take your time. Your spirit guides want you to take your time and shine your light on the situation and trust that the universe, when you lean on, and trust when you lean on the faith of the universe, peace becomes real. They want you to be in a very peaceful place right now. Positive headspace, thinking about your life, not rushing into things, okay? Knowing that you are the light. And when you shine your light and have trust, you have what it takes. If only you believe in yourself. Thinking that you're powerless when you're not. A lack of self-confidence that keeps you from getting what you want. Okay? Be confident. Be empowered. Know that the universe has your back. Okay? And shine your light. Okay? You got the Celebration of Flames, the Empress, and the Jack of 
<clears throat> the Jack, the uh, Knight of Pentacles in reverse, okay? This is what you want, okay? You want this, this partnership, this fun. You are the Empress. Look at, shine your light. You are the Empress. You are beautiful. All these fuckboys, all these lazy assholes that keep coming to you over and over and over again, they're trying to teach you that you are worthy of more. You are loved. You are light. You are the Empress. You are deserving of this amazing love that you are trying to bring to yourself. Start manifesting it, okay? Trust that the universe will bring you what you want when you shine your light and when you decide what you actually want, okay? I get that you guys are kind of like not knowing what you want right now, okay? When you lean on the faith of the universe, peace becomes real, okay? Meditate on what you want, on your person, on, on who you want into your life because you have what it takes if only you believe in yourself. Thinking that you're powerless when you're not, a lack of self-confidence that keeps you from getting what you want. And what you want, what you want is this. How you're going to get there is by being the empress, okay? You want the celebration of flames. You want this happiness. You don't want the fuckboy card. You don't want the lazy-ass motherfucker who keeps in and out of your life, okay? You don't want that. Shine your light. Ask the universe for what you want and believe and have faith, okay? All right, guys, that was <clears throat> the Picadex messages from Spirit about your love life. Um, if you'd like a personal reading, you can um, contact me at divine, G-U-U-D-A-N-C-E, tarot by heather at gmail.com, and we'll get you set up. Um, if this resonates, please like, comment, subscribe. If not, please find a YouTube reader that can help you, and I have to get ready and go to work. I love you guys. Love and light.